Greetings, friend. I have a really neat uh, treat for you today. This is the puzzle called Mirror by Lee Ram. And it was recommended to me by Bonnie as one of the great Sudoku handmade classics to find on the CTC Discord server. And in fact, in talking about this puzzle, Lee Ram said uh, he's extraordinarily proud of this one. It has a gorgeous trick. And then no other than Sam Kappelman Lyons said, this is the clearest one of that trick that I've ever seen. I'd use it as an example to teach it. What is that trick? I don't know. Uh, not solved it completely, so I'm really curious to see how this is going to work out. Um, you can probably notice why it's called mirror. If you just kind of put a line right straight through and folded it over, you see that all the digits kind of fold over on each other, and they're in the same spot along this center uh, column five. Pretty cool. Um, I know it's not going to be that easy of a puzzle, but I'm really excited to try to solve it. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, so I'm going to look here. I do have the candidate showing that I expect it to be a pretty hard puzzle. If I look down column seven, I see there's only one six, so I'll solve that as a hidden single. Uh, two, uh, three, eight, two, eight, one, two, eight, one, two, three, eight. Okay, there, one, three, seven, nine. I'm looking now in block eight. I'm trying to see if I can, if there's maybe a, uh, a, a naked uh, triple or, or a pair that I might be missing. And I don't see that. So I'm going to kind of scan across the top here and start to look to see if there's any hidden or naked singles that I might have missed. I see that I'm looking at the twos now. And six, sevens, eights. Don't see anything there. Ones, threes, twos, fours. Uh, nope. Eights and nines. Nope. And with the symmetrical aspect, I might expect there to be something along the lines of you know, swordfish, uh, maybe X-wing type stuff, jellyfish. Those are pretty common. With those types of things. I do see right off the bat, like I can actually see an X-wing. So let's look at the fives. This is not something I would normally spot right off the bat. But I happen to know there's two fives here, and there's two fives right there. So here's your X-wing, uh, and we know that the five has to be either here, or here, or here, and there. Uh, I'm not going to explain any more. I've explained actually many times on my channel. So we can eliminate all the other fives along the columns. And then what does that leave us? Uh, no, there. But I just happened to see that. That was uh, not something I normally would catch. Okay. And moving right along. Sixes. Uh, I'm looking through sixes on row seven. Don't see anything there. These eights are in a unique spot here. They're kind of in the corners of column three and column seven, but I don't see anything to do with that. And the sevens. Okay, so I'm going to filter the candidates. I, I don't see any other naked hidden singles just yet. Let's look at the ones. Um, let's see here. And it looks like it's kind of close of doing, like I see one, two, three, and then one, two, like it'd be close to having like a swordfish, but it doesn't quite work out. So I can't do it. And then across here, jellyfish one, you know, there's a long column or excuse me, rows nine, seven, and two, the same four spots are being occupied, but there's nothing else in any of these other rows that, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually there's a fin uh, jellyfish. So let me, point this out here. All right. Okay. And then where's the other one? Yeah, right here. Okay. So there's our jellyfish. And then here's our extra fin. So fin jellyfish works the same way as the fin swordfish, works the same way as the fin uh, X-wing. But basically, you know, uh, the ones have to be in these, you know, these no more in these four spots and those four rows. Uh, if the fin was true, then there couldn't be a one right here. If the fin was false, we'd have a jellyfish, and there still could be a one right there. It's only going to appear in the same block as the fin, so that's not a one. Uh, and then just trust me that you know, two by two, like the X-wing, a three by three, a swordfish, and a four by four, uh, jellyfish. You know, it all works the same. That you know, the ones have to be in those four spots. Uh, they have to be in one of those uh, four positions in those four rows. Otherwise, uh, you'd break the puzzle.
So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of those colors. Okay, hopefully this will come into play, get rid of eliminating that one right there. Uh, and then I can see a thinned X-wing actually. And I don't know why I didn't see this before when I was noticing. Okay, so here's your X-wing and here's your fin right there. Um, so same idea, either the fin's true and these aren't ones, or the fin's, you know, those wouldn't be ones if this is true. If it's false, you'd have an X-wing and there'd be a one in either this spot or that spot. So those can't be ones. Much bad. All right, so now we got a, a fin X-wing, a fin jellyfish, and then if you look right here, it's coming straight up. I mean, that can't, couldn't have been a one in the first place because of the, well, point pair. All right, so I worked real hard, but uh, I was able to make those eliminations. Either way, uh, the logic is sound. Okay, let's move on to our twos. Um, so you can see here, this is not, with this, this is a different block. That's not a thin uh, X-wing along columns three and seven. You can't, the logic doesn't work that way. But let's see if there's something else we can do here. Hmm. Um, I had the twos. So they kind of point up, so that can give me two. The twos are locked into column five here and block five. Great. All right, we want the threes. I'm looking here and here, like I see the strong link there, and then I see this. So this is like a skyscraper, but there's no elimination because you can't eliminate the threes from here. Here. All right. Um. Yeah, I can't. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, this is interesting here. Let me see. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, uh, I was looking to see if there's something I could work across in here, but I can't. I felt like there was maybe some kind of elimination. I'm going to kind of look at it. Again, yeah, one, two, three, four. Now it's just too many cells. Okay, move on to the fours. I know elimination with the fours. Move on to the fives. I already showed you that X wing. I found pretty. Uh, I could get go sixes. Pointing pair here in the six, so we can get rid of that six. We can get rid of that six. I'll look here for a unique rectangle. Uh, nothing there. Go to the sevens. And I don't see anything I make elimination wise. With the sevens, move on to the eights. Uh, quite a unique formation we have going on, but I don't see anything I can do with that. I'm going to look, see real quick if there's like a jellyfish or something. Uh, I don't see one. Move on to the nines. And don't see anything I can do with the nines right off the bat. Interesting. All right, let's go here. And what you'll notice, and what I'm seeing, is there's not that many five value cells I can work with. So an eight, nine, uh, a three, eight, a two, eight, a one, two, a one, three, and a two, three. And this one, two, three, eight, uh, you know, they're not quite connected. I can't do anything with that. And if you look here, you actually have like a WXYZ wing here going on. Uh, some similar pattern, but it would not lead to any eliminations is the downside because the twos are Along this way and there and the ones are along. Yeah, it, it doesn't work out uh, And then I also look here to see if there's any type of like, cock or if there's any kind of uh, uh, XYZ wing and so I'm kind of looking now for an XYZ wing so like a five eight nine eight nine and trying to see if there's like a 5859 five, somewhere in here. There's nothing there. 28989. Eight, nine, there, okay, so we do have uh, an XYZ. I mean, this is nice. So here's your pivot. And here's your pinchers. Okay. So what it means is you have three candidates. The pivot has all three candidates, 289. And then each of the pinchers has two of the three candidates that are different. So an 89 and a 28. And then you look what they have in common, the 8. And so any cell that sees all three of these, you can eliminate an eight. So you can eliminate an eight from right there. And the reason being is if you plug in a two right here, that would be an eight. 
you plug in an 8 right here, this would be an 8, obviously. And if you plug in a 9 right here, that would be an 8. And so in all three situations, it can't be an 8 right there. What does that do for our, our puzzle? Uh, nothing. Doesn't really add anything to the puzzle right now. So let's go over here and see if we can find another type of uh, elimination. It's like a 1, 2, 8, and a 2, 8. Nothing there. You know, 1, 3, 9, and 1, 3. I don't see anything there. Uh, none of these cells play in with this 1, 2 over here. That would be great if they did, but they don't. I'm looking. You know, if there wasn't a 3 right here, this 3, 6 would be a hidden pair. But there is a 3 right there. So I can't eliminate that 3 yet. Hmm. Two seven eight two seven eight two or five seven eight. Too bad it's not two. I'm looking for hidden pairs. I'm looking for uh, X Y Z wing. Something that would help me make another elimination here. Two five six eight nine. Nope, can't do anything with that. Um. Okay, I think I'm going to go right to alternate inference change from here. I don't see anything else I can do. So with the ones, how I do this, I'm looking just for strong links. That means there's, there's two in a house, which is a row column or uh, block. Then I'm going to mark it with the colors, so I'll use those ones. Um, that's the only ones I see for the ones. Let's go to the twos. We'll go to purple, and those are the only twos right there, and only twos down here. These are the only twos right there. And I'll, I'll do something a little different for the, uh, I'll point out the buy value, because the buy value cells also have strong links. Um, and I do take those into consideration when we're looking for our alternate inference chains. Let's go to the threes. And what do I have for the threes? I got a three here. I got um, three here. And don't see any others. Let's go to the fours. And I use a different color for each candidate to the first five, and then I'll repeat the colors. And I can tell the difference between the colors by looking at, uh, you know, not just the color, but the placement within the cell. Let's go to the fives. All right. These fives are going to come in handy. Oops. Yep. Uh, these fives are strongly linked, just like these fives across are strongly linked. These fives are strongly linked, but then these fives, these two see a third, no matter which way we go. So we can't, those aren't strong links. Let's go to the six, and I'm going to go back and use, like, but you notice the ones top left, and then the sixes, it's orange, but it's in the middle right. I can see the difference when I'm looking through the candid. Uh, again, if you have a, I might have said this in previous video, but if you have a better way of doing alternate inference chains and the coloring, I would love for you to share that with me in the comments, because this is something I came up with, and it works, but there's, it's a little time intensive to do all this coloring. And, uh, you know, sometimes the weak links may appear strong links because I'll see two colors, but they're for two separate um, strong links. And so you have to be really careful of not to confuse the weak links and the strong links. All right, we'll go to the X, Y. And what I notice is, you know, eight and nine here, like these are strong links, so I can use that to help build a chain. 8 and the 3, the 2 and the 8, uh, I can use those, but they really only work well if you can take it to another cell. So like this, I can start here with this 2, go strong to this 8, weak to this 8, stronger to that 3, and then we're off to running. You know, weak to this 3, but then you got to be real careful. Okay, uh, because this 3 and this 3, for example, are not strongly linked. There's 3s in the middle. They're weakly linked, but they both have strong links going upward. Got it? Got it. Okay. Uh, and also this one and two. All right, uh, I'm going to try to focus. I see something going on here. So you have this two, strong to the two, weak to this eight, strong to this eight, weak to this eight, strong to the two. Okay, so try this again. Two, okay. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Okay, so what that means is these twos are strong. Any, to the C, they can eliminate. So you can eliminate a two right there. That uh, is an alternate inference chain. Cool. Well, that's helpful. I didn't expect to 
get elimination not at the first one I looked at, but I will take it. And then maybe look here and go, how does that help with our eliminations? Um, it doesn't quite because there's still a two here and there's still a two here. Huh. All right. All right, uh, let's look at another. And I like to kind of show the five values because then I can also use those to start my strong and weak links. What if I just start with the twos? I did strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, right? But I can also go weak here, strong. What does this three go to? Strong. Weak, strong, or weak, strong, yeah. And there's really nothing to go from there. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Well, I can now make that a, a strong link with that link, okay. Okay, where was I? Strong, or maybe we can start here with this two. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Okay. Weak, strong. Interesting. Does that give us anything? I don't know. Uh, we also have this nine. You know, you're looking to see can you eliminate some kind of other nine over here? Strong, weak, strong okay weak strong or weak strong yeah i don't see anything doing with the with the nines uh, strong start with this four strong weak strong weak strong yep okay i don't like i'm not seeing it getting anywhere how about with the seven and you have to kind of see, you know, if I start with a seven, what seven am I trying to eliminate? And what, what cell can I end up with to make the elimination? And if I end up here, I can make an elimination here. There are no eliminations along that way. But what you'll notice is that sevens only link up with these sixes, and they just play a, a square. So there's nothing you can do with that. Um, so this is, it's a little trial and error, but it's also... Uh, can be very helpful to um, it's trial and error, but it also can be very helpful to kind of go go through and and I focus on you know the strong links the the cells the strong links are the ones I'm going to focus on. So like a cell like right here with no there's all weak links, nothing going in now. Can't do anything with that. That's, that cell's no good to me. But I'll make an elimination there if you know like if I can stop at this four or you know the four up here that would help. So let's start with this three. So Strong here, weak to this three. Okay, I was trying to see if I could do a discontinuous loop to this one. Huh. Strong, okay, weak, strong, weak, strong, and I can't. Okay, so let's try this again. Strong, this three, weak to that eight. Strong to this eight, weak to this one, strong to that one. So what does that mean? Um, this is called a, a type 2 alternate inference chain. So you start in the 3, you end in this 1, they both see each other, so you can get rid of the start candidate from the end cell and the end candidate from the start cell. So I can get rid of a 1 right there. And the reason being is the way the chain works, if you, uh, if you did the false and the true, you'd realize that in order for the chain to work either way, you wouldn't be able to have the, that start cell uh, start cannon in the end cell or the end cannon start cell. Okay, so with that, what does that do for my ones? What does it give me different than what we had before? Um, I now have 
basically I have like a, uh, a skyscraper. And so with, you know, here, 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 and here. So with skyscraper, you know, there's gotta be a one either there or there. So you can get rid of all the other ones there, which you did, and the ones there. Uh, okay. Now I'm looking, what else can we do elimination wise? Um, let's get rid of the ones, let's go back here. Now I'm curious about these, the threes, twos, ones that work in here, right? So, so let's say we start in this two, strong, weak, strong, that would be valid. Weak, strong, that's valid. You know, and then weak, strong, which is we just did. We're getting a lot of mileage off of this. Uh, this one, two, three, eight situation. Strong, weak, strong, okay. Weak, strong, weak, strong, yeah. Weak, strong. Well, that's, that's interesting. So now we're going to be able to eliminate an 8 from right here. Let's try this again. Strong. Weak. Strong. Okay. We start in this cell. So let's make sure. Strong. Weak. Strong. Weak. Strong. Weak. Strong. And again, weak links can be circuit strong. Or uh, strong links can be circuit weak links. Strong. So again, this is another uh, alternate inference chain type 2. Uh, we start with this one, we end in this eight. So we can get rid of a one in the end cell and we can get rid of an eight in the start cell. And what does that do for us? Now we have a one, two, and a two, eight. We have a one, two down here. Um, so this is interesting because we're gonna create ourselves a, a W wing, I believe. All right, and I'll show you where it's at. Um, okay, you have a one, two right here, and you have a one, two right here. And you'll notice here, there's no one. Let's see. Uh, take it back. Cannot make a W wing out of that. Jumped the gun a bit. I got real excited. All right. Never mind. Okay. Uh, what can we do, though? Because anytime we make another buy by sell, we're, we're, we're creating an opportunity for us. So now starting with this two, for example, we can go, you know, start strong, weak, strong, which is good. And so now can I link up this? You know, maybe this two with this two, or this two with this two, and now we can eliminate two over here. You know, th those are the possibilities we're looking at now. Uh, Hopefully you're following. This is this is kind of upper level stuff, but I'm fascinated because I can I'm able to solve really hard puzzles like this by using these alternate inference chains. And at the same time, I'm going to you know, revert to simpler solving strategies as well if I can get those to work. It's like the one two and a two eight. If we had a one eight somewhere, which we don't, uh, obviously I could do a a little bit easier solve. But so, okay, strong, weak, strong. And weak, but that's also weak because there's another one right there. Mm. Getting a lot of mileage right here in the middle, which has been great for us. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Guess what? 
that is going to be super helpful. So now what we have is another uh, alternate inference chamber. This is a, a type 1 again. So you see here there's 8. Strong, this 2. Weak to this 2. Strong. So strong, weak, strong this 2. Weak to this 8. Strong that 8. So strong, starting a strong link here. Any strong link here. Any cell that sees both of them, we can eliminate an 8. We can eliminate an 8 right there. And then that's the 3. And what's nice is that 3 had a strong link to another 3, if you remember. So we should be able to make another... Uh, uh, we'll be able to make a, a solve right there, which is great. So now we have a 2, 8, 1, 2, and a 1, 2, 8. Sweet. It's nice to solve a cell right there. Good. What does that do for us, for our 3s? Let's check out our 3s. We have threes across the way here. Uh, now these threes are strongly linked, so I'm going to mark those. I don't see the puzzle opening up right away. Oh, but I do now do I see a one, two, eight, uh, triple. So this is nice. And these three sixes are now, I think I remember that, saying that before. So these three sixes are now a, uh, like a hidden pair. So we can get rid of the one, twos, and eights from all that. Makes sense? Because, you know, the one, two, and eight are now uh, naked triple in those three cells. Great. Uh, anything else? These eights are now a strong link, so I can mark that, which helps us out. And then now these eights are a strong link, which helps us out. Huge. All right, I've been able to solve. I feel like I've accomplished so much by solving another cell. Uh, where are we at with, with the threes then? Um, I don't see anything there, don't see anything there. Uh, seven, five, seven, eight, nine across the top. I'm trying to see if there's a substantial change to our, our cells. All right, I can make. Okay, we now have strong link ones right here. Maybe I didn't see that before, but I'll make sure we have those. Okay. So I have strong link ones right there. This is good. i um, just trying to re-cage my thoughts here and all this. Look at my twos. I still have three twos this way, but I'm strongly linking two that way. That's good. Uh, okay, I'm looking good with the twos. Threes. Made the update on the threes along columns uh, 8 and column 3. Fours, uh, no changes to the fours. Fives, no changes to the fives. Sixes, looking good on the sixes. And then now that we have these threes lined up. Um, and, you know, this kind of gives us now a, uh, a unique rectangle. So three, six, three, six. So now what we can do is we can actually eliminate the threes from right here and from right there. So it's like if you do a type 7, you come across, you eliminate the three because there's extra threes along the row. Come over here, come across, you can eliminate the threes from right there. That's pretty slick. Uh, that's a nice benefit of having that. Okay, let me go back to the threes and see there's another uh, benefit of doing that. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm now looking to see if there's some kind of like swordfish or something. Nope. Cool. Okay. We were working on the sixes. Uh, go to the sevens. Any additional sevens that I can mark? Don't see any. Go to the eights. I don't see any other eight uh, eliminations I can mark. Hmm. So that eight nine two eight nine two eight. We already made that elimination. And two eight nine three eight nine one eight nine. That's all interesting. One two three eight. We can't narrow that down anymore. And then with the nines, can't narrow down the nines anymore. And then here. 
uh, you know, we created these threes and sixes, which is helpful. But I still don't see um, how I can further illuminate right now. So I'm still going to keep up what I call the Christmas tree lighting uh, to help me kind of make the solves that I'm looking for. Interesting is now I'm going to look at these fives and see three, two, one. Let's see if I can focus on these fours maybe. Uh, strong, weak, strong. Uh, does that five go anywhere? No, it doesn't. So that doesn't help us. But this four, you know, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Four and a five. I uh, can't do anything with that. How about these nines? Maybe uh, starting with this nine, see if we can get to this nine. That'd be nice. Strong, weak, strong. Nope. Because that'd be weak. Okay. Or uh, what's another nine that we can reach to? This nine right here. And get to this nine. Okay, so let's try this. Start starting with this nine. Strong, weak, strong. Okay. Weak, strong, uh, weak, strong. So I'm in. I'm in this realm now. How do I get to the sevens? So I'm trying to jump over to one of these these sevens so I can or the fives, right? Do the fives overlap at all? They only overlap with the nine right there. They overlap with the four right here. But other than that, the fives are kind of on their own. The sevens overlap with the nine right here. They are on their own right here. Uh, they overlap with the six, but overlapping with the sixes doesn't help us because the sixes are self-contained down here and they're not related to these sixes here. So maybe starting with this nine is not such a good idea, but maybe if I can get here to here, I don't know. Huh. Do the eights ever touch the twos and the sevens? No, mm, they're just they're self-contained. Let me see something here. Strong, weak, strong, no. Strong, weak, strong, nope. Uh, hmm. Not very promising here. Uh, if you start with like the sixes, the ones, maybe this one. Can I link that to another one that might help us? Maybe get down here. Uh, strong, weak, strong. Weak, strong, okay. Weak, strong. Uh, weak, strong. So there's no... Well, that helps so we can get rid of this one. So this we start with this one right here. We end in this one. So whatever these two cells see, alternate first chain type one, we can eliminate. All right, how does that help our ones out? Uh, helps a little bit. I don't see another. Now we have a three, five, eight. Okay, and there's still a couple of ones down here. All right, you know just. Flipping away here, people. Strong, weak, strong. Uh, weak, strong. Weak, strong, I guess. Uh, weak, strong. And now we have so many options. Weak, strong. Hmm. Strong, weak, strong. Strong, weak, strong, weak. So we can't get into any of those. Okay. What am I trying to do, right? You know, that's kind of the question.
strong, weak. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Start with this two. Strong, strong, weak, strong. Okay. Or strong, yeah. Strong, weak, strong. Okay. Starting with this two. Weak, strong. Okay. And then what do I do? Uh, the one doesn't really go anywhere. Hmm. Tough stuff, man. Okay. I really want to solve this puzzle. I feel like I'm getting close with my eliminations. I feel like like this is the key. I wish I had a don't quite have a continuous loop. That would be nice if I did. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Well, yeah, okay, weak, strong. Let's try it again. Strong, weak, oh. strong, weak, strong, weak, or weak, strong, weak, strong. But I've already made all those eliminations. Strong. Weak, strong, weak, strong. Yep, we already made those eliminations. Um, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Yeah, weak, strong doesn't really help us. Okay. Um, man, I can do this. I can do this. Start with a seven? Do we end up with any other seven? Or do we end up anywhere else along here? Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Hmm. Try this again here. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Or weak, yeah, strong. Weak, strong. And these fours and fives don't connect to anything else. Hmm. And this two, does that two connect with anything? With a seven. Another two, like over here, strong, weak, strong, strong, weak, strong, and it kind of dies, weak, we can't do anything with that. Okay, I've looked at that before. Okay, um, and this two I've looked at. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Two and a six, yep. Weak, strong. Doesn't help us. Hmm. Fascinating. I'll be able to chip away. Can't quite chip all the way away. Two, seven, eight, nine. Two, five, seven, eight, nine. I'm looking along column eight now. Looking along here. Hmm. Strong, weak, strong, yeah, yeah. That's all the same stuff. This three, strong, weak. Strong, weak, strong, okay. Weak, strong, can't do anything with the two. 
strong, weak, strong. Weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, doesn't help. Okay. Something going on beyond what I think. Maybe it's a discontinuous loop. Strong, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. But we gotta connect to this, and there's no way to come here back. Maybe it was the two. Strong, weak, or, yeah, hmm, start with the three. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. Um, strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, hmm, let, let me see if that works. Starting here, okay. For discontinuous loop, you have either two strong links in a low row in a continuous loop, or you have two weak links in a row. So if I start here and go strong to the two, weak to this two, strong that two, weak to this two, strong to the eight, Weak to this eight. Strong to this eight. Weak to this one. Weak to that one. Strong to that three. Weak, 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 strong, or, no, no, I have to figure this out here, strong, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, weak, strong, okay, weak, weak, Strong, weak, strong, weak, weak. That's not a one. That's the discontinuous because there's a weak link here and a weak link there, and a strong link there, and a weak there, strong. That's not a one. This has to be a one. Huh. Making some slow progress. Very slow progress. How's this looking now? Well, let's get rid of that. And what we have for the ones, okay. Okay, strong link there. Now we have a strong link here. And the two, so now it's a one, two hidden pair. So we can get rid of all that. Uh, and yeah, great. All right, and then get rid of any other ones too, but it should be all gone. And so now I have a one, two pair across here. So you can get rid of that, you can get rid of that and that. Nice. And so now this is a strong link here. Okay, yeah, we're actually making some progress here. That's what I like to see. Okay. Um, I wonder if and now you have strong link ones right here. Well, this is really helpful. And then you have strong link ones right there. All right, we're getting somewhere. Finally. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to see if there's something else here that I can. I can make some illuminations. Let's go to the twos. I feel like I, I cracked something open here, which is nice. Uh, now these twos are, are strongly linked. That two and that two. And what does that mean?
these two are strongly linked, those two, but coming down it's not. Okay. I feel like uh, there's some kind of XY or some X wing action going on here that I need to figure out. Um, so strong, weak, strong. Hmm. Strong, weak, strong, yeah. Interesting. All right. Okay. So I still need to figure out at least one more uh, alternate inference chain maybe to crack this. Meanwhile, I'll look here to see if I'm just missing something. Is there a... Uh, you know, a swordfish or, or some kind of other pattern. I want to look through all these candidates real quick. I feel like I'm, I could just be missing something pretty simple here. Nope, let's see it in the fours, uh, fives, of course not. Sixes haven't changed, even limiting this down. Okay, well, two, six, nine, two, three. Oh, no, there's a seven there. I was about to say two, three. That I had a two, three, six, nine. I do not have that. Uh, sevens. There's something here with the sevens I can do. Real simple, like. Nope. Uh, okay, let's look at eights. Is there something with the eights that can lead to more eliminations? And. I don't see anything. How about the nines? Nines are like, oh, well, okay, here we go. We do have a um, pointing pair here, nines. So that's not a nine. That's helpful. A little bit. Um, four, five, seven, eight. So now we have the nines right here. Does that lead to anything else? No. But any elimination we can make is helpful. Okay, so here's where, here's where we're at with elimination. And you notice here, seven, nine, seven, okay, I just noticed we have a uh, naked pair of seven, nine. So that can't be seven, nine anymore, which means this has to be a six, and that's a three. All right, good, 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 and I can, Make this a strong link here for the seven nine, and you have um, okay. So uh, we just solved the six. What does that do for our sixes? Oh, we have a hidden single. Oops, six over here. Let's solve that, which makes sense. Okay, how about we go to our and then we'll look here. Is there anything else we can solve? We now have a Five nine five eight nine. Uh, or I'll, we can't solve anything else with the sixes just yet. Let's go over to the threes since we just created more leeway with the threes. And now we have a skyscraper with threes. So you can see these threes here. There's only two in columns three and four. So a three either has to be here or here. So here and here or here and here. Uh, so what we'll notice is that we can eliminate the three right here. And there's also, you can just see a pointing pair of threes. So that's not a three. All right. This is good. I think we're getting to the spot where we can get rid of all the, the Christmas colors. So I'm going to actually get rid of those. Uh, and so we can kind of move on with the rest of this puzzle. Let's look at the, whoops, the fours real quick. No changes to the fours. No changes to the fives. I uh, already it looked at the sixes. We now have the seven nine. This is a thin X wing, but we can't make an elimination based off of that. Um, okay, eight. How's our eight looking now? Hmm. Starting to come together. 
Let's see here. I don't see any other eliminations. Uh, let's go to the nines. Nothing there. Hmm. Okay, let's go to our... And you'll notice here is we have a lot more buy-value cells, which is great. This is really good to see. One, two, one, two. We already got rid of all those ones and twos. Um, one, three, nine, one, three. We need a, like a one, nine. We don't have that. Uh, five, eight, five, nine, and eight, nine. Okay. Well, this is great. So we have ourselves an XY wing. Here we go. Five, nine, five, eight, eight, nine. Uh, so if this is a 5, that has to be an 8. If this is a 9, that has to be an 8. So any place these two see, you can eliminate the 8. So that's not an 8 right there. So that's just a 3, 9 uh, cell now, which is great. That's helpful. And now if we get rid of the coloring, go to the 8. Um, a little interesting. I mean, we've created a like a finned X-wing in columns three and seven for the eighth but doesn't doesn't solve anything for us uh no because it, we'd be able to eliminate over on this and you can't make the elimination over here okay let's go here to the uh let's go back to the x y you know the 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 buy value cells. And what I'm looking at now is I see the one, two, the seven, eight, three, nine, three, eight, nine. You know, is there a three, eight or an eight, nine? Uh, well, the eight, nine is right there, so that doesn't play into what we need it for. Now I'm looking to see. Well, there's still a two that can be there. Hmm. One, two, eight. Can't make any eliminations off of that. Okay. I feel I'm really close here. Nine, seven, seven, nine, nine, eight. Okay, so we do have a a W wing, uh, delta variant. You see how there's eight nine in row one and block one. There's an eight nine in row two, block two. So you look over here in block three and row three, you see there's an eight, but there's no nine. So what that means, if, if this was a nine and that was a nine, there'd be no place to put a nine right here in block three. So one of those has to be an eight. If one of those has to be an eight, then we can eliminate the eight from any cell that these both see. So you would know that. Um, this cannot be an 8 right there. Nice. So that's a, a little helpful. Um, what does that do for our 8? Eh. Creating more of a cell. Uh, still no, no real restrictions there. Okay. So now I'm going to look. Um, two, you know, two, one, one, two, two, eight. Can't do anything there. Seven, eight, and two. Oh, here we go. Uh, we have another XYZ wing. So two, eight, nine. If this is a two, that'd be an eight. If this is an eight. Of course, this would be an eight. If this is a nine. That'd be an eight. All three of these cells can see right here, so we can get rid of the eight right there. Nice. All right, what does that do for us? Uh, gives us now a five two, or a two five, and a two eight. 
do we have a 5 8 cell that we can work with here 5 2 and a 2 1 uh, no what does it do for our 8s try and keep working down the uh, the eights here I mean but it's slow going five eight nine eight nine now we're hoping for a five eight oh well wait what do I see here make it single one sweet okay don't know how long that's been there but we found it and that's great uh, where else do we have ones I don't see any other ones right now but now you can see that there's only one place left for a two in block one so there that's a two and then if we're gonna look down here we still have two twos there okay um, but yeah we're, we're making more progress let's look at the twos now and where are the twos okay uh, can't make any more eliminations with the twos just yet. One, two, eight, one, two, two, eight, nine, two, nine. Huh. Two, three, one, three still. All right. Um, oh, we have a single naked single eight right here. I missed that. Okay. Uh, let's look at the rest of our eights. Now we have a naked single eight right here. Because there's a one, two pair. There's, only, there's a Oh, a hidden single eight right there. Nice. Hidden single eight right here. We've got a nine. We've got a three. Okay, I think we just about got this cracked. Okay, here we have a five, eight. These are all naked singles. Nine, four, seven, four, seven. That's a five. Uh, naked single. Seven, four. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't believe I've actually gotten this far. In this puzzle, let me get rid of the the twos. One, five, two, one, uh, two, because that's a seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, five, and these are all naked singles to the end. Great puzzle. That was really tough. Uh, I had to work the alternate inference chain. I had to get a couple of type twos. Also worked there for. X, Y wings, X, Y, Z wings at the end to shake it completely free. Um, this is not easy at all. How'd you do? Let me know. Did you solve it using a different technique or method? Uh, put it in the comments. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Please don't forget also to like, comment, subscribe to Smart Hobbies. Thank you, Lee Ramford's Puzzle, and thank you all so much for watching.